going to your butt. Hi guys, I'm Dave, and today we're going to be reviewing this huge Jurassic Park set. So here she is. She's big. <clears throat> In comparison to uh, the minifigures, this big. There's a great action to the mouth. The mouth has a great like snapping action. Those cool piercing eyes. The tail's really flexible as well. Fully poseable. She even got a frog in her DNA around the inside. Do you have something to say? The arms are fully poseable as well, movable. Got the spines down her back, and she comes with her baby one as well. So the legs and head do move to have her posing in any position you want, really. But I wouldn't recommend this for young children. Uh, it's not a toy, it's more of a model. Comes with the uh, nameplate and all the minifigures as well. So Dr. Ian Malcolm comes um, with his sort of top ripped open and the splint on his leg after the T-Rex attack uh, about halfway through the movie. So he has this face, which is a serious looking face, a bit of a sweaty brow, or this more, or this more terrified face. Uh, like he is when he's being chased in the jeep. Ray Arnold comes with this face. He appears in this lab coat as well. Um, well, it's more like just a shirt in the film, I think. I can't remember. Or there's this more concerned looking face that he's got. When he realises the security's down, I'm guessing. John Hamm's got this happy face, he also comes with the, his uh, staff, or a walking stick. I think it's called a cane, uh, or crutch, with the amber, which is pretty cool. Here's Ali Sattler, um, she's looking kind of happy with herself there. Maybe she's got the lights back on. And here she is. A little bit more terrified. John seems quite happy there. Dr. Alan Grant comes with the raptor claw that he threatens children with. Six inch retractable claw. Uh, he only has one face like John Hammond. And Dennis Nedry looks like he's up to something, which he probably is. His reverse face comes with the Dilophosaurus spit, or it's not really venom, I don't think, like toxic spit, which is pretty cool. It's a nice <laughs> And then there's the gates, which took the majority of the time to build. Comes with the signage at the top. Eight sets of these burning flames. Some of this foliage, foliage are kind of like winged at the end. To be honest, after building it, so like 10 hours. That was a bit sick of following instructions. Just wanted to mess about with it. So the gates open pretty smoothly there's this, these um, cogs at the back these gears 
I can just move the gates. Got the cool tire tracks and rails as well. Made by all the Jeeps, and gas Jeeps and stuff. Love the detail on the doors actually. There's a load of neat little touches like these uh, eggs have been broken here. Uh, either from the lab or the nest that they found. Probably the nest they found. Life finds a way after all. So this is Dennis Nedry's um, compartment. It shows the, the DNA that's been stolen in the can. Being washed away in the mud. Just a neat little touch. The one below shows the green jelly and the ice cream. Comes with a couple of little spoons as well. So you can pop Ali Sattler in there if you want. Mmm, ice cream. This is the sort of medical room. You see the shelves and there's like a crate with uh, different accessories in there. And Dr. Malcolm, after he survives the attack. On the other side, comes with a toilet. <laughs> Just funny. You gotta go, you gotta go. The characters can sit on there as well, which is quite cool, in a way. Or well, you can do this. So it comes complete with the spinning computer chair and all the necessary monitors. Here it is without the rail sitting in there. It's not the last you'll see of him though in this set, which is there's another cool detail coming up. So this compartment depicts the scene where Ali has to put the, <clears throat> to turn the uh, power back on and all the uh, switches there, which is pretty cool. <clears throat> and Ray on old arm pokes through the fence before she's attacked by the raptors, which pop through between those bars. Would be cool if a raptor and a Dilophosaurus, like the little figures, would come with this set as well. But let's be honest, there's plenty of features. Mm, ice cream! Overall, it's an immense set. So many cool little details. So if you keep it as a model, or you play with it as a toy, just need to decide who survives. <laughs>